Hi everyone, I'm Gemma, mum to two amazing boys, married to my best friend and focus on living our authentic life here in the south of England. Welcome to my world where I'll be sharing all things motherhood, lifestyle, country living and showing you what life is really like living in the south of England. So please subscribe and welcome to my channel. Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's vlog. So today I just want to go through a really quick makeup tutorial. This is what I do as my everyday makeup. I switch things up depending on the season and this is my spring kind of wardrobe at the moment for my makeup. But it's really quick, really easy and um, yeah, let me show you what I use. I've just quickly shown you some clips of me putting on my makeup this morning. This is now the afternoon. I didn't have time to shoot the rest of this uh, vlog this morning. So I'm just gonna go through what I usually use. So I always start with a base, whatever it might be, after I've moisturized and cleansed in the morning. At the moment, I'm using this e.l.f. brand here. I like it, it's really easy. A massive kind of, what do you call this, a dabber? A dabber, dab, 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 I don't know. Probably bears do it in your hand. I do sometimes, this morning I didn't, I just tracked it on my face, that was fine. And I sometimes rub it in with my hands, other times I use a little brush. I have no idea. I'm not going to tell you brush numbers. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I am not a makeup artist, guys. I am just a mum. This is a seamless foundation buffing brush from Beauty Pie. It had good reviews. I thought I'd give it a go. And to be fair, it does work really well. So I use that and I use that for my mas um, mascara. You can tell I've been at work all day. I use that with my concealer as well. But that is all I do for base. I do put concealer on. I don't use loads. But before that, I put this cracked putty colour correcting eye brightener. I don't like this. <laughs> this was an e.l.f. one. This was meant to be a dupe of one that I get from Beauty Pie. It's not the same. I need a lot more of it to actually even show up, to make any difference, to kind of correct the dark under eye circles that I have, which is why it's still really dark. I just, sorry e.l.f. don't come for me. I don't particularly like it. But I'm also cheap and this only costs a couple of pounds and I won't buy any more now until I finish that. And I think I've got ages, left. you know, I've got a while to go, so stuck with that one for a while but definitely the beauty pie one is better concealer wise i'm using just the beauty pie one now i had a different one before this is the beauty pie everyday great skin concealer in shade super light which actually just reminds me in the elf i am shade i don't know does it even say shade zero fair i'm always the pay this usually so this is like i said shade 50 super light from beauty pie honestly it's fine it's a concealer. I mean, I like it. I've used it for a while. I tend to do in the corners under my eyes. I try not to put too much. I don't like it caked on. In the corners here, a tiny bit here. It's more for redness for me than anything else. Covering dark circles and redness. I get redness around my nose from when I have rosacea. And sometimes on my chin. And I have, of course, woken up with a spot this morning, which is awesome. So I dab that on. I tend to then use the buffer brush again. Sometimes if it's a persistent spot, I might just dab it then afterwards with a little touch more. But I find it lasts pretty well during the day. So I like that one. And this makeup, like I said, has been through the day. The hair has been through the ringer, as you can tell. And it's pretty much held up, which I'm pleased with. So that's kind of like base-wise for contouring bronzer bit of everything again an elf purchase again wouldn't get again <laughs> honestly that stuff's been really good these are the two disappointed it was a weird texture this putty bronzer i had one before i think it was a clinique stick one which i really liked but it was quite orangey but i did like it this one i'm getting through and i use my clinique foundation buffing brush i think it's the worst brush known to man i'm sorry i don't know what I've, i just think it's dreadful for putting foundation on absolutely not no do not enjoy that so i've actually found it fits really well in the container and i then just tend to go round like you saw in my video put it back on and then after just go with my sponge to kind of blend it in i mean look it's okay i don't even know what shade this is it doesn't even have a, a pot shade i don't know i think it'll probably be the lighter of the colors it's just yeah not great not not impressed so i would probably investigate a different bronzer slash contouring product next time blusher i tend to do last i don't know why but i have kind of three that are my go-tos i'll show you in a second and that's how i usually change up so the base everything stays the same it tends to be the eyeshadow or more predominantly blusher that changes and that changes the look for me eyeshadow wise i was just gifted this as in like my children won i think a raffle it was this who is who even is this this is super drug I don't know it was a super drug eyeshadow palette I don't tend to have a lot of eyeshadows I use these kind of like eyeshadow sticks 
I prefer cream things, but my children won this for like 25p. So there we go. And those are what I've been using. I predominantly use this pale one just to go over my whole eyelid. And I predominantly use this one here. It's more of a kind of a neutral, it's called bare, a neutral one. Occasionally I might dip into these shimmery ones or this darker one. I have not used these at all. I just, I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, but that was a cheap, a cheap thing. 25p, obviously with more if you bought it new, but something neutral just to give something because again I tend to tie in my blush on my lips and my eyeshadow with the same colour. It's a thing that I saw Trini's doing it ages ago. So I tend to do that. Eyebrows, I have my microbladed or tattooed. I think it's called tattooed actually. Same permanent makeup. So I have those tattooed on as well as my lip blush so I don't have to wear lipstick every day and so I don't have to wear or redo my eyebrows every day. This is a beauty pie eyebrow sculpting gel it's actually completely empty okay so there is absolutely nothing in it at all i mean literally look nothing in it it's just the fact that i like to brush them up in the morning i do need to get another one which has actually got product in it and it is really good that's a beauty pie again i do like beauty pie okay there's a there's a theme i like beauty pie but yes i just brush them up and that's that done nicely so that's why i get them tattooed to make my life easier mascara it's rubbish i have no idea I think this is, is this a rimmel it's so worn off now yeah rimmel london 100 waterproof absolute light it's not waterproof it's rubbish i probably need to invest in a bone mascara to be honest i just grabbed it at the local kind of drugstore it's rubbish so don't get that one not recommended and then like i said that is my go-to if i'm having a cream blush i found this when i was going on holiday at the airport at number seven it was when I went to Croatia. It's just a neutral. That is my go-to if I don't do the palette because I don't do that palette every day. Let's be honest. It's normally just a chuck of that on. And then I have these couple of colours of Beauty Pie blushes. They're these creamed cheap blushes. This is my go-to. Can you tell I've used it the entire winter? Okay. Absolutely love that one. It is called ugh, Perfect Nude, I think. It's very much worn off on the bottom. I think that says Perfect Nude. That is my favourite. This is my spring edition. This is where the spring colours start coming in. So I, I'm not a massive pink person. I do have this old pink creamy blush Miracle Touch from Max Factor. Absolutely no idea. Oh, soft pink is the colour. Very rarely wear this. I'm not a pink person. Red nails. I mean, I'm into kind of more of reds. Your deep neutrals. I don't, I don't wear a lot of pink. I'm not a pinky girly girl. But this was Coralie. It's extremely pigmented, okay, as in I've just dotted the tiny bit. I mean, it is a lot of pigment. So this is going to last for years to come. And I obviously don't need any more now. I've already put it on this morning and been running around. But the tiniest little kind of push is enough. And again, I would usually blend this in then with my well, fingers to start with and then using my beauty blender afterwards. There we go. But it's really pigmented and I feel like it's a really good spring colour. It's the Blazed Apple from Beauty Pie. And then what I tend to do, even if, and I didn't do it this morning because I was trying something different with the palette, but even if I did then go in with my eyeshadow here, and honestly, this is all I do, guys. I'm really not a makeup artist. I also don't care that much and I have no time. So you're not going to find me doing this winged eyeliner. I mean, I've tried to do that and it just doesn't work on me. I'm looking over here because it's like a mirror. But I would sometimes do that as a base and then I would put the tiniest little dot of this and I would do exactly the same with this one. And I've had people always say to me at work, what are my eyeshadows and what's it look like? Because they like it, especially the other crew actually is more their favourite. Because yes, they have preferences. And it's because I just literally put my lip to cheek, you know, kind of lip to cheek on my eyes. I put it everywhere, I put it everywhere. I do sometimes put some on my lips as well. I didn't this morning. I just didn't need to. I just literally use a chapstick. Or just chapstick. But again, you could do that. And I've done this before. Actually, if I'm clever, I'll insert a picture. Because I wrote a blog on all the products I use as well. But yeah, apart from it's off band. So I mean, I'm about to go for a shower and actually get ready for bed. But that is all I do. And that's how I feel that it all kind of comes together so that's my go-to products okay so it's the day-to-day -day stuff nothing dramatic like i said don't come to me and look for a makeup artist i have absolutely no idea i need to clean that it has to be quick it has to be efficient i do not have time i have about five ten minutes max in the morning to get my hair and makeup done this isn't actually curled curled this is just done uh what's it called like a 
hot air brush and I've just curled it with that. It's already coming undone because I have wavy hair anyway, so it tries to fight it. It's fine. I'm very lazy with things, so it needs to be quick, efficient. This is one other product I will show. I have shown it in a previous video, but I love it. It's more of an autumn colour, I would say, but I'm still going to use it. And I absolutely love it from Beauty Pie. That is the lip crayon. I would like to see what other colours they have. This is Pep Talk Pink, which I know it says pink, but it's more of a burgundy. I'd like to see what other colours they have. But there we go. It's so easy, so quick. I think it's just about switching up maybe your blushes and your lipstick. But like I said, for me, I just like to change them up by having the same colour everywhere. So if I wore a red lip, I would actually use the lipstick as my blusher. I would just put a tiny remnant up here and pat it on. Okay, so like I said, not a makeup artist, just a mum who tries to look all together, doesn't like to use too many products, hasn't got loads of money to spend on these things, and yeah, wanted to give it a little spring fresh overhaul. So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Happy Easter, everyone.